people see for the first time their aspirations could be fulfilled. Today people are talking about their aspirations. They are not thinking of large-scale disruption of present uh, situations to achieve something. They are seeing how to exploit the present situation to fulfill their aspirations. Unlike how a uh, few news channels may be <laughs> projecting it, the mood of the country is very exuberant, enthusiastic. Many things have changed on the ground. For example, the roads. I have uh, at one time ridden across, crisscrossed India on my motorcycle. Later on, many times I've driven. The last time I drove across the country was about nine years ago. Today when I drive, at least eighty percent of the roads are as good as anything in the world. So, a lot has changed and there is much more prosperity, but still there is an inequitable distribution which we have to correct. Nine years ago how India was, nine years ago what people's condition was, what it is today is phenomenally different. When it comes to the world stage, as you know, uh, a whole lot of polarization has happened in reaction to certain kinds of violence, terror acts. Definitely security-wise, taking care and protecting our nation or protecting our people or our property is definitely everybody's right. But at the same time, we don't have to allow this to happen to us because if we do this, then the terrorists are determining the agenda of our life. That should not happen. We must fix our agenda and move towards it. We don't have to close the gates of the world to each other. At some point, we must be aiming at one world.